Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Digital Art with Jesus Conde and today we're going to be working on this painting and we want to be talking about two paintings actually this one which I started with uh, some kind of a 3D base and then we're going to be talking about this other one which was all done um, painted from scratch and I've, I've been working on these paintings really um, <laughs> fast these days trying to make one per day which is uh, very demanding in terms of energy uh, not so much about, about time but more like energy um, and yeah today I want to promote the work of um, this digital art book called Worldview um, the person who's making this posted it on share your art group you have a link in the description so you can share your art um, it's a, a free group you can just enter and ask for for permission to enter normally i take about one day to accept accept people but yeah that it's it's uh, very nice that all everybody can see what you're working on and promote your art Okay, so I just skipped uh, putting the, the 3D part because the video was going to be too long. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, anyway, it's going to be time lapse, so I don't know how much you can catch up from that. But basically, it's just making really uh, simple shapes with uh, kit bashing, which is basically just taking kits of uh, people that sell um, 3D models on the internet and then you basically just trying to put them somehow so you can uh, take advantage of those volumes and then use those volumes to um, as a guide and you also have some other problems solved like perspective and and the colors that you're using um, because it's easier at least for me to change the color and see how the light affects the colors on 3d than in than in 2D, uh, for some people it's different. We'll we'll think that uh, maybe 3D is way too much trouble uh, to be, to be working on with that. But I, I I see it as an advantage really. The only thing I will say about 3D is that you have to be very aware of the time that you spend on it because it consumes time of the painting that you're going to do. If you have a fixed time to do things, or you want to work fast. You, don't, you want to avoid working too much time on 3D because the real work that you're doing is digital painting. So I will avoid as much as possible to spend too much time on the 3D part. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just trying to change the shapes as much as I can uh, from the original one because I don't, I don't want it to look the same. And just testing things, testing colors and changing a lot of stuff adding more uh, stuff on the background to make it more like crowded in terms of uh, the ships on the backgrounds and stuff like that uh, I'm definitely uh, not cleaning this image uh, completely it's gonna have some parts that are going to look uh, painterly but that's the point uh, on this kind of like daily paintings more like just to test myself and push all my abilities to see how much can I produce uh, on the uh, little free time that I have, and yeah, it's it's been kind of, it's been interesting. The first one was were kind of a struggle, and I thought, oh man, I'm I'm trying to do this painting in like uh, 40 minutes tops, not to spend too much time on this uh, because I have to work and 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 stuff, and I'm like. Uh, I had to do this um, as much as possible because I don't, don't want to spend too much time on these guys. But then I don't want I don't want it to look bad, so I kind of put it put them in like about one hour tops uh, on process the full process. So I try to spend 20 minutes on 3D that I don't have to I don't have to um, think too much in there because I already have the pieces that that I bought on, on online. And that helps me tons. And uh, then like 15 minutes in sketching, and then I do um, some uh, I don't know like maybe 20 minutes on on cleaning. But sometimes I, I spend a little bit more than that, so it's 
t uh, one hour tops on the whole process um, because then when I if you have a, a job it's kind of like uh, it doesn't make sense that you spend more time doing this that the, that the time that you spend uh, working so you have you have to be very careful with your time when, when doing this when doing these things and it's basically trying to perfect the trying to to find a perfect process for me or at least pushing as much as possible because some of this stuff I actually then apply it to my job or apply it to whatever else I have to do and I'm like okay see so if I did this in that time that means I can do this or that and I spend a, a lot of time um, reading uh, workflows from other people or or trying to watch uh, videos where people is trying new uh, kinds of things um, there's a lot of stuff on the internet uh, these days where you can learn uh, processes and it's very interesting how people manage to combine techniques so I um, want to try to get to 100 of these guys uh, if you have seen my Instagram account I'm trying to put one per day obviously uh, today I won't be posting them because I'm recording these videos so it, it's basically about six uh, every week and I'm, my goal is to get to 100 <laughs> to see what happens but I, I'm not sure uh, we'll see. We'll see how how much can I develop these guys, and <clears throat> then let, let's see what happens. I don't know. Um, I, I always wanted to make a book. I don't know if I'm going to be, be able to do that, but I'm starting to think about that again. Anyway, um, here I'm adding a little bit of blue to to the lower part of the of the ship, so it looks like reflective uh, lighting and basically just cleaning a lot of stuff and also at the same time trying to put some weathering or um, dirt wherever I can um, I feel a bit ashamed because some of the parts of the city you can tell that are just pipes and or, or things like that or um, and here I'm testing just to make this symmetrical but I kinda like the idea that it was asymmetrical so I just take it out later and I'm trying to make it look uh, painterly but not too much because I don't want to be like so obvious that I spend little time doing doing these guys uh, for the brands or the logos that the ship has um, I have a friend that is a graphic designer so I kind of like hey I'm really bad at this so I'm going to send you some um, sketches and it, you can please um, make them in vectors so I don't have to do, do that myself and she kindly uh, did that and now I have a few logos that I can use and reuse when so I don't have to be designing a logo every time that I do this guy so I'm basically trying to uh, to make some of the process more automatic and not so much like a struggle every time that I have to do the thing um, that way of thinking uh, I got I kind of got it from some talks that I saw online from Scott Robertson if you know who he is he's a very good um, artist that is, uh, is his specialty is more about uh, vehicles and he talks about how we have a muscle memory and also like our mind works the same way so we're trying to find to to go for the same same shapes all the time uh, even if we don't want to do that it, it happens so we try we're not we have we, we have to try to avoid as much as possible to get into that and to be doing the same shapes every, uh, like all the time and it's very difficult very, very difficult thing to do because the ones that you do all the time is the ones that you believe are look good uh, but that's not design that's basically um, charging people to do the same thing again and again if you are if you are hired to do this kind of thing you cannot do the same designs all the time or at least that look similar um, it's a bit of a weird thing to do because a lot of people will hire you for this for this for the stuff that you do and normally it will look kind of the same um, but 
uh, for the sake of, of creativity <laughs> you want to avoid doing the same stuff all the time and one way that he he found to to go against this um, doing the same thing all the time was to to do like uh, random things that help him like avoid going to the same stuff again and again all right so here I'm, I'm trying to change a bit of the color with the levels and trying stuff with the with the hue and, and things like that so to just to see what happens it's, it's part of the same random process and it's been really fun it's been really fun to do this these guys I, I wasn't expecting to be like this I was thinking it would be more like a struggle like really difficult to to do but it's actually very refreshing I feel way more um, uh, like let's say entertain and happier somehow and that's also good for my work because that makes me more um, eager to start my days and, and, and be like more productive or at least try to be more productive as possible so this is the fin final painting of this guy and I really hope you like it now we're going to be working on the other painting right away and I hope you enjoy these kinds of videos I know it's very lazy to do a time lapse without explaining anything at all really but I hope you can find the process useful uh, this one is completely painted as you can see I'm trying to paint this something and I don't know what it is so I'm trying to create a random uh, thing that I can find a shape in there uh, somehow um, it's not I know it's a weird process but then when you find the thing that you're looking for I was I found this shape there and now it's, it's all about developing that shape so that's what I'm doing right now I'm trying to define where's the cockpit where's the where there's like the engine and um, some air vents and, st and things like that and you slowly start like developing developing it and it's a bit uh, weird because I'm trying to not think of color at the moment so everything is the same color like mostly um, uh, dirt uh, kind of color and making the image slowly changing things adding more space and things like that so definitely so now I'm like definitely I'm on the desert for example <laughs> that's something that I, I like I, um, to be honest on this one I had a Star Wars book and I'm like I'm going to open this book and whatever image or page this falls um, that's gonna be the color palette that I'm going to use so it landed on a desert image which has like the I think it was the Millennial Falcon and I'm like okay so I guess I'm going to be working on some desert kind of thing and that immediately I know it sounds like why would, would you do that and <laughs> immediately made me um, more like now I have to worry about where this is located or now I don't have to worry about what's the place this is on and that was that felt really good like I don't have to worry about this anymore I can concentrate on the design because I already know where this is located but if I started like okay so I, I think I want to do this or I think I want to do that then becomes for I in my mind I think it becomes a problem but then you're choosing what to do and if you're trying to do something free of uh, like free your mind uh, on the process when you think too much of what you're going to do then it becomes a little bit like uh, it, it's like more work and I basically I don't want to worry too much doing these guys I want to be too, I want it to be fun and to be fine I have to free my mind for all the decisions that I have to make when I do these guys and <clears throat> I believe it's a really nice process to be to work and it's definitely more uh, creative because you don't have to like create everything from scratch you don't have to think it all and I think this what makes is like uh, it will push you to create things that weren't there before like you were not thinking of this but you're doing it so you have to solve it anyway 
uh, without changing it that much. And then I, I thought, well, I have to make these guys here. Uh, but then I have to paint people, and I'm like, I don't want to paint people. <laughs> it's very difficult to do in a short amount of time. It's, like, it's really hard to paint anatomy, and even if they are so small, it's the same thing. So what I think I'm going to do later is, uh, is I'm going to, to put some 3D guys in there. Uh, not in this painting, like if in, the, in the future paintings. I think I'm going to be doing um, 3D people to put in the background or whatever. And that itself is an idea that I got working here on these guys. I already did something like that in a painting before, but I did it just for that painting. I didn't, I didn't thought of doing it like for every painting that I do from now on. But now I'm like, okay, so if I do some 3D guys in basic, basic poses that I'm not, I'm going to be using on this project all the time, then maybe that's the way to go. Like doing. Um, these guys that I can put or rotate or things like that and that will save me uh, Minutes and those minutes are really valuable if you're trying to to get images like every every hour and That's really really helpful. That's really really helpful and in terms of uh, time so <clears throat> What else can I say here for example? Um, uh, I'm trying to this one that is more painterly is way more fun I think than the ones with 3D but then you have to way more problems like the perspective you have to be accurate or go safe um, in this case I think I went really safe with the perspective I didn't do anything too weird with the camera like I just put the guys in there um, it's not like tilt. It's not. Um, it's not. There's nothing very uh, interesting about the perspective of this image. It's a very plain image, and that's what I meant with going safe. You're gonna. You're gonna go safe. That's. Um, that's a way. A way to go. A way to do things. There's no problem with that. But it's. It's very interesting what you can achieve. Or the ideas that you can get when you're doing these guys uh, are so fast so I encourage you if you, you want to try something similar uh, I will say go ahead and do one painting per day um, in your time you don't have to do it like so quick I'm doing this quick because I have a lot of time uh, working on other things and I, I know my capabilities and it's kind of like a, a speed painting but not so much because some stuff look more detailed than I, the stuff that I've seen on speed paintings. Or if I want to spend a little bit more more time, it's not that much like speed painting. Like one hour of painting is not speed painting, in my opinion. Um, speed painting is more like very, very minimalistic things or very specific things. Uh, but this one, I don't think is considered that. Anyway. <clears throat> I really hope you enjoy these videos. Um, I'm gonna be trying to put the to put these guys uh, every week, and you can leave a comment if you're interested to see to see more things like this. Uh, I'm starting to believe I can do this. I can do this. This 100 uh, paintings. Uh, obviously, these these are just two. The ones that I consider the two best from the week. If you want to see more of them you can go to my links in the description at, at, at the left at the low left you have my instagram account you have my twitter so i'm going to be posting there there is the share your art group the links are in the description i repeat and there you have uh, all these links and these are some channels that i recommend you to to watch if you're watching in english you can go to ama uh, channel which is the guitar magazine channel and there's a really cool girl called Isis uh, Sosa uh, she's putting very very well explained and very nice videos and if you wanna see Spanish content then you have Barus Studio which is a 3D uh, with ZBrush uh, tutorials very very good and you have Ramon uh, Naini which is really nice uh, <laughs> character drawings is amazing at it 
as he had like one hundred he has like one hundred thousand followers on Instagram or something, and his uh, wife, which is Ka uh, Calarena, uh, she's very good too. So see you guys next time and thank you.